so what I come from a particular background, so what I'm from Chicago, I'm from East St. Louis, I'm from Little Rock, so what my family didn't have the greatest of things, so what? Despite all of those challenges and all of the things that may be happening around me, I plan to prevail. My name is Tim Campbell. I'm the executive director of the Emerging Scholars Leadership Academy, which was started here in December of 2022. And essentially the aim of that program is to build young leaders, simply put, whether it be with soft skills, whether it be with networking, resources, however ESLA can help. That is a mission of ESLA, to build young leaders and prepare them for tomorrow. Right now, the Emerging Scholars Leadership Academy is housed on the campus of UAPB, University of Arkansas at Palm Bluff. Going to UAPB, growing up on the campus, I always like to say I grew up at UAPB because it grew me up and I had mentors, I had leaders on the campus, but a lot of opportunities I didn't take advantage of. Now I'm in a position to curate their energy with a host of students that are dying to get into the world. They're wanting and eager to be leaders of tomorrow. And I feel honored to be in a space where I can make that happen. Our guests have been phenomenal. You won't be able to do everything by yourself. So you're gonna to have to learn how to use the resources that are around you. You're gonna to have to learn how to trust somebody who may have a vision or an idea that you did not see. Our guests have literally curated tons of energy for this program. Week one, we had Mrs. Ada Brooks come in and she did a great job talking about bios and the importance of what a bio is and your story of self, right? Because when we read a bio, we're essentially reading someone else's story, where they came from and where they plan to go. Don't be afraid of your voice. When distractions come, don't get mad, just stay focused. We've also had Helena Gaddison to come in and she did a great job talking about the art of leadership, speaking to the students and the fellows about the importance of being a leader in 2023 and what 21st century leadership looks like. I'm coming to you to suggest that 21st century leaders going forward must develop stronger EQ, your emotional quotient, your emotional ability. Um, she made the declaration that leadership today is not a leadership of yesterday. She declared that, well, that was a great form of leadership and that's something we can build on as leaders, right? But the leader of today looks different. All of the leaders that we've had come in and speak, one of the biggest things that they've tried to get over to our fellows is the importance of knowing who you are, self-actualization. A lot of them, they found that there are different type of leaders, right? Um, they're just not this out front leader and I'm in front of everybody and I tell everyone else what to do. A lot of the leaders in this cohort are service-based leaders, which I enjoy, I learn from, to be able to lead people in a way of providing service instead of dictation. Um, so I think that that is one of the biggest characteristics that I see in this cohort that I look forward to seeing in the future. You're entering into the world this big, huge, humongous world full of people that you may know, some you don't know. You're into into a world that doesn't always look like you. It doesn't always speak the language that you speak. And it doesn't always care about how you feel. But I want you to enter into that world, 10 toes down, with your shoulders planted and your head high knowing, despite the challenge, the skills that you have will allow you to be an overachiever in any endeavor that you may face. I really want them to have the emotion and have the feeling and the mindset of, so what? So what, I come from a particular background. So what, I'm from Chicago, I'm from East St. Louis, I'm from Little Rock. So what, my family didn't have the greatest of things, so what? Despite all of those challenges and all of the things that may be happening around me, I plan to prevail. It's important for ESLA to be able to assist in those futures and not dictate what those futures will look like. ESLA is here to provide a platform to say, not only will you be a leader, not only will ESLA assist you in being a leader, ESLA will also provide you the skills, resources to execute leadership.